Hey YouTube, this is Finn's Kid coming at you. I was just fixing to make a couple coin rings, and right here I thought I would stop and turn on the video camera and talk about this. What you're looking at right here, guys, is two silver quarters, all right? Both of which have been annealed. One of these coins has been quenched in fresh water. The other coin was quenched in an acid bath. So stick with me, guys. We're going over the details. This is fresh water. This is a pint jar. It's about three quarters of the way full, I guess. Three quarters of a pint full of water. This is Sparex, number two. It's a dry acid. Okay, guys, when you guys are playing around with acid like this, keep in mind it is dangerous. You get this stuff on your clothes or any fabric like that, and it will eat holes in your clothes. Make sure you're wearing rubber gloves, protective eye goggles, and all the good stuff when playing with this stuff. And dispose of it properly, too powder or granulated form or whatever pretty easy guys take a tablespoon of this put it into that mix it up voila instant acid bath now you know the drill when you're making a coin ring right you go to anneal it you heat it up and instead of dunking it into fresh water dunk it into your acid bath and you'll get this real frosty color when working with silver now how easy are both of these finishes to polish right this one's a lot easier to polish this one, eh, it takes a little bit more elbow grease to get that carbon off of there. Not to worry, if you have a rotary tool of any kind, some kind of power tool, buffing wheel, something, fire scale, and this frosty stuff buffs right off, okay? With some polishing compound, both of those clean up like a dream with a power tool. If you don't have a power tool, you're hating it. You already know, that doesn't come off very easy at all that's a drag to get clean this a lot easier to get that bad boy to shine check it out your ring will be black that's if you're dunking it in fresh water now check it out low flame on these silver coins don't be getting all hyperactive you're gonna end up torching your coin we're just gonna slowly heat this up and I'm gonna show you how fast this happens all right check it out Easy. I don't have the lights down I need to be real careful don't want to get too hot that's fine right there it's glowing just barely you can't tell because the lights on but that's ready to rock watch this hot silver black coin into an acid bath BAM look at that all right, now I know what you're thinking with me having acid on my bare hands right here, as I just told you to be safe with this. But this is a good example that it's not really as strong as it might sound. I didn't wash my hands for probably 20 minutes, 30 minutes after I got my hands wet here, and it never even did burn or sting. But I'm glad I didn't rub my eyes. Anyway, make sure you're wearing gloves. That dark mark right there is where my tweezers were, right? You can see it. So anyway, you know, make your ring, get it in the shape the way you want it until you're finished, and then just heat it up one more time, dunk it in your acid bath, and bam, acid or black carbon is kissed. Oh, yeah. Now let's talk about silver, or copper, right? That's silver. That's how silver looks. Big difference. Now copper, not really a huge amount of difference there, right? These are two copper quarters both of which have been annealed, one of which was dunked into fresh water, the other one the acid bath, and you can see there's not much difference, but if you look close, you'll see the coin on the right has more discoloration than, say, that carbon, right? You can see this one, this one is really black, and it's got that, a lot of carbon on it. This, this one, it's got more just like discoloration, right? I wouldn't call that carbon. Maybe it is, but it's a little bit lighter than this one. So there's a little bit of a benefit, I guess, if you're using copper coins. But the real deal, you'll see it most and used most when you're playing around silver. I don't think, I don't know, is there such a word as coppersmith? <laughs> I don't know if coppersmiths are using it, but I'll tell you. Silversmiths? Dude, every silversmith has a pickling compound. You've heard, you haven't heard me say pickling yet. I've been using acid bath. I guess the real word for it is pickle. Woohoo! 
dill pickle, sweet pickle, vlasic pickle, pickle, pickle this, pickle that, put a sock on the pickle, whatever. Now, how about shelf life? I mean, how long will an acid bath, how long does it last till you need to change it, right? Well, a long, long time. I leave mine sitting on my desk, and this water will evaporate, right? And I'll just add some more water to it, and it'll last weeks and weeks until it's real dirty, full of dirt, but still does its job. I mean, it just keeps going and going and going. This particular bath is fairly fresh. I don't know, I made this a couple days ago. I've only quenched, I don't know five six rings in it not a big deal still fairly fresh but it'll last a long long time you don't need to add some of this and make a fresh acid bath every time you make a ring just save your old stuff put a lid on it throw it on the shelf bust it out when you're ready to rock and you're kicking now i'm going to leave a link down here in the description box below on a link to where you can get this stuff i got this stuff on amazon for this big old jug right here 10 ounces i don't know i paid eight Ten bucks for it, nothing major. There's directions on the back too if you want to get technical. Maybe I uh, misspoke when I said a tablespoon. Who knows? Read it up. This is the stuff. Fence kid coming at you. Have a good one, guys. Laters.